Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. Today we're so glad to introduce you to a newly released server type, called 9A. The server performance is way stronger thanks to 8 powerful RTX 3090, AMD Ryzen Pro, 256GB of memory, and surprisingly 2TB SSD. And in this video, we're going to do a server test with a 3DS Max project, with the Redshift renderer. Let's get started. Of course, first, we upload the project data to GPU Hub Sync to transfer data to the remote server. All files we upload will be in the Z drive of the remote server. Next, we access the iRender console. Here we create a server image with the 9A server that includes 8 RTX 3090. We then boot the server image, it may take 5 to 10 minutes. Once the image is booted successfully, download the remote desktop connection file by clicking the connect button. Enter the credentials to connect to the remote server. We're on the remote server. We can use Task Manager here to check the GPU performance. Now, we need to set up 3DS Max 2020 and Redshift. Notice that we just install them one time, then they can be saved and reusable. Please keep in mind that, X or Z drive is just a network drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives, like C drive or desktop to prevent the project from being crashed. So, copy data to desktop before opening it. Next, we activate Redshift key. As iRender supports Redshift floating license keys for Prime customers. So now, we just need to install the iRender license management app. Then, log into this app with our credentials to activate the Redshift key. Okay, the setup step is complete. Remember that we just do it one time only. Let's move on to the render test. Here, we open the 3DS Max project. The render setup is multiple GPU rendering with Redshift. Click to render. As you can see, the rendering process is much faster thanks to 8 RTX 3090s. Notice that setting the output path should be in the desktop as well, to avoid getting corrupted. The rendering process is complete. We move the results to Z Drive to sync with GPU Hub Sync. Then shut down the remote server in the iRender console. The final step is just to open the GPU Hub Sync and download the results to the personal computer. To sum up, we rendered the 3DS Max project with the Redshift renderer using the powerful 8 RTX 3090s. The image size is 1920 in 1080 pixels, with a 0.02 threshold. 
The render time is only 3 minutes and 56 seconds. That is the end of the video today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. I render, happy rendering, happy training.